All parties in the matter of McClendon versus Bailey. Step forward. Hairstylist Laurel McClendon is suing former client Patricia Bailey for the cost of a wig, check return fees, and fraud. Miss McClendon, you made a wig for the defendant. Yes, ma'am. That was over a year ago. Yes, ma'am. And she paid you for the wig? Yes, ma'am. By check? Yes, ma'am. And then she stopped payment on the check? Yes, ma'am. May I see the check? Sure. This is it right here. And the $370 was the full price? Yes. Full purchase price of the wig? Well, not the full um, purchase price. She purchased the hair. I know she oh, did. Okay. I understand that, but that your was for the fee, labor. For the labor. Your fee was for the yes. labor. Mm -hmm. And she stopped payment on this check in July of last year. Yes, ma'am. When had you delivered the wig to her? July 5th. I met with Pat. Okay. Now, Ms. Bailey, on July 5th of last year, Yes. did you pick the wig up from the plaintiff's shop? Or did she send it to you? I picked it up, Your Honor. And when you picked it up, is that when you handed her the check? I handed her the check after I tried the wig on. You tried the wig on, which would be a natural thing to do. Yes. And then you handed her the check for $370? No. Well, then tell me the steps. That's what I thought you just said. OK, so I came in. I met with Laurel. I um, looked at the wig. I, um... No, no, look at me uh, and make uh, sure that you're not tailoring your response to me okay. based upon what you think I want to hear because it actually doesn't make any difference whether you gave her the check before or after you tried on the wig. No, I... So, because first you said I tried on the wig and then I gave her the check. Yeah, you want to take that back and you want to tell me a different story. So make sure I get the right story and if you say I don't remember, that's okay too. Okay. Do you remember the sequence of events. I do. Then tell me. I looked at the wig first. Yes. I complained about the wig because the- Not because. I want you to tell me what you said. Your Honor. Shh, shh. Oh, okay. I said to her the color looked different than what I asked for and that the wig looked dry. Okay. And so that's what you said to her. Did she respond to that? Yes. What did she say? She told me that the wig looked dry because it needed to be wet and it needed to have some product on it. <laughs> and you said to her? She wet the wig and she blew dry it and then I put it on. Okay. And then you, if you don't stop it, I'm going to put you out. Okay. Do you okay. understand? I'll, yes, ma'am. Uh, this is not an audition because yes, I already yes, have the job. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> So then she wet it, she put some product in it, blew it out, and you tried it on. Yes. And then? And then I was kind of happy with it. Fine. And then? Then I got up, I said thank you, I wrote her a check and gave it to her. Great. That was on July 5th. One other thing. The wig was loose, Your Honor, so she told me that if I would bring the wig back and she would put a band on the wig. Fine. And you accepted that and gave her a check. Yes. And what's the next thing you did? I left. You left and? And I called Lauren to make an appointment for her to put the band on my, on the wig. Just a second, you called her the same day? I'm not sure if it was the same day, Your Honor, or the next day. So that would be July 6th? Yes. That you called her? Yes. And what did she say? She made an appointment for me to bring the wig to, so that she can put a band on On what on date? It. I can't really recall. Well, that's it important. Was, um, Probably within a couple of days of that day. Okay. What is all this stuff that you're giving me? Um, that's just the, um, I, I sent a letter of demand to um, uh, Patricia. Okay, not what I asked you. When did you go in to cash this check? I, it's on the back of the um, check, the date that they, um, I think it was the, I think I put it in on the 6th. On the 6th? Yeah.